and welcome to block six and block six is called beautiful basketry um, this is a lot of fun to do you've got a few new things that you're going to do this time not new stitches but just just a different way of using those stitches so I really encourage you I remember when we're, I was doing the filming um, that I've used markers I really encourage you to use markers so you know exactly where to put your your, your hook um, Mm. So you don't get lost. So you know where the top of the stitch is and the stem of the stitch. But I'll let Tony explain better that to you. Oh, well, thank you, young lady. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Today, you or when you get your pattern and your yarn and you start working on this block, you will be learning how to do front post and back post stitches. Um, and working post is working around the post of the stitch. So you don't actually work into the top of the stitch. So to date, um, for this afghan, you've only worked in the top of stitches um, for all the patterns that you've done so far. And this block, you'll be working around the post of a stitch. Now, I highly recommend that you use your markers. So having said that, this is how um, the block looks. So this is beautiful basketry. And the post stitches are these stitches that sit up I don't know that you can see from here, but they sit hot, they sit proud of the work. So they give you, it gives you texture. So that's why I've called it basketry, because basketry sits proud of the surface. If you look at baskets, the, the weave is often sitting over the top when you're looking at the way um, a lot of baskets are made. The, the patterning is on the surface or on the exterior. The inside of a basket is nice and smooth, but the patterning of a basket will be on the outside. So the other side of this block is nice and smooth, but this side of the block is quite textured and quite interesting. So you'll do front post and back post. And you'll also learn how to do a treble. So, so far you've done the double crochet where you wind the yarn around the hook once. You'll do a treble where you wind the yarn around the hook twice. So in the US terms, that's wound round twice. So in the UK term, that's round round twice, and they call that a double treble. Right, so for those of you that are used to UK terminology. All right. So once you've established your pattern, it's really just a two row repeat until you get to the end, and then you just work around like you do with all the other, other blocks. And then you just block it to shape. So hopefully you will enjoy it. Okay. See you next time. Okay, see you next month. Everyone, so this is the left-handed version. Um, and so we've started off with our 44 chains, and which is your first instruction, and then we're going to do row two. So we're going to do three double crochets in the fourth chain. So it's one, two, three, four. So that's the one we're going into. So we're going to go into that one there. So that is oops, so that is so one. Two and three, all into that one chain. Okay. Then we're going to skip two stitches. It's two chains, so that's number one. That's number two, and then we're going to do one double crochet in the next two. So that's miss two. So that's one, two, and we're going into this one here. And double crochet into the next one. We're going to skip two and we're going to do our uh, three double crochets in the next. Yeah. 
again straight up motion into the next stitch Okay, so then we're going to do our next one to do our next lot of three. So we've got one, two, three, and one chain stitch, and then three in the next. So then we're going to skip the next two, and then we're going to do a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So that's one, two, and we're going to do one double crochet, and in the next stitch, another double crochet. skip two stitches and we're going to do three double crochets. So one, two and into the third. three in that one that we're just going into this stitch here. And we'll do another three. Two, three. Always like the double count. Nothing worse than getting into the end of the row and you've got one too many or not enough. So I've got one, two, three in that stitch and one, two, three in that stitch and that's our, our repeat. Uh, to the end. So at the end, we're just going to do three double crochets into that one stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch here. Okay, a little bit tricky, but it's definitely not there. It is it's that chain. Goes down. say that it's a little bit wavy and that's correct that's the way it should be so you've got your pattern okay so that's the end of round one so we're just going to turn our work okay so this is where we start to do some front post work and it will go nice and slowly for you so I'm just going to lift 
better. So we're going to do three chain and that counts as our first double crochet. So we'll just go one, two and three. Then the pattern tells us to double crochet in the next double crochet. So remembering that this is counted as a double crochet, so we're going to do a double crochet in this stitch here. Then we're going to skip the next two double crochets, so this one and this one, and it brings you to your two chain here. And the pattern says to do a front post treble and two double crochets in the one stitch. So treble, uh, we go round twice. Now for a front post, if you open up your work, you'll see that you've got your chains up here. We're going to do the post here and we're going through the front. So what that means is not through here, down through that hole, around the stitch like that, bring your yarn round, pull it through and it's one, two, three. Now in that same stitch, which is a little bit tricky because you've just gone around it, so as long as you're going up in a straight line, you're fine, there's your stitch. So we're going back into that one and we're going to do two. One, two, hang on a second, just let me get my head around that. That's the stitch you wrapped around, there's our chain. And we're going one, and two. So then what we, ne we need to do is do two double crochets in the next stitch and a front post, so we're going backwards. So we're going to do our two double crochets. So we're going back up to each of the top of the stitch. One, two, open up your work again, put your yarn around, but open up your work again and there is the Post that we're going to go round in, under, and pull it through. Treble, so it's one, two, three. And what you'll see is your work is starting to rise up a little bit. Okay, so you've got these two that stick up, and that the other four stitches will sit behind it, and that's what gives it the texture. So then we're going to skip next two double crochets and we're going to double crochet in each of the next two. So we're going to miss this one, one, two, and then we're going to do a double crochet in this one. So that's one and two. And then we're going to repeat this again. Okay, so we're going to miss two stitches, which should bring us back here to our two single stitches here. So yarn around twice, because we're going to do a treble under here. If you get stuck, this is actually a really good time, just as a little hint. If you get stuck knowing where the front and the back of your stitches are in terms of your chain and where you've got to go, you can quickly just pop a marker in there if you wanted to. You don't have to. Go around your post, up through the front here, pull that through, and we'll do one, two, three. So because we have to do two double crochets in the same stitch, you've marked it. If you're having trouble, pull that out and just go back into where you were. And we can do one and two. So now we're going to do the same thing into the next stitch, but we're going to go the opposite way. So in this stitch here, we're going to do our two double crochets. Yarn around twice for our treble in that same stitch. OK, 
Okay, we're going to go in through the front, around that post, yarn over, pull it back up, okay. yarn over, cast off, uh, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And there's our next pattern made. Okay, so now we're going to miss two stitches. Okay, so one, two. So back here, we're going to do a double crochet into here. And a double crochet into here. We're going to do our, get ready for our treble. And we're back here. So remember, if you get stuck, mark your stitch where you're going to go into. But for now, we're going to go down, not into that stitch, but into its post. So straight through, through, and over, through one, through two, pull through three. So now we're going to do a double crochet into that stitch. So we'll just take that marker out so you know where it is. And we're just going to do two double crochets into that stitch. Two. Next one's a bit easier because you get to do your double crochets first. So in the next stitch, we're going to do our two double crochets. And then we're going to do our treble around the front post. So in through the front. So everything's looking up at you. Okay, so now at the end of the row, um, we're going to skip two, so one, two, we're going to do a double crochet into here and pop the next one into the top of the chain. Okay, so you've got a chain stitch. Swing that round, get up nice little chorus, and it's in the top of the third chain. So mark your chain if you would like to when you're doing that, so you know where to go into and a double crochet. Okay, so this is what your work is going to look like now from the front. So what these posts do is start giving you some texture. So you've got they're going this way and we're going both ways. Alright. You've got your stitches in between. Alright, so let's get on to our next row now. I'll just get some more yarn. I'm going to turn our work. Okay, so we're doing row four now, and so we're going to chain our three. One, two, three. So instead of doing front post this time, we're going to do a back post. So we're going to uh, do a two double crochet and a back post treble. So this is our chain three stitch, so it's going into this one here. 
So we're going to do two double crochets. So what we do, so with a back post treble, what we do is we go into the back of the set. So with the front post, you went through the front. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing, but through the back. So through the back there, poke it up around that post, turn your work slightly, yarn over, and pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over through two okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to skip our next two stitches and we're going to do a double crochet in those two stitches okay so there's one two and we're going to do a double crochet here and two. get ready for our treble because what we're going to do in the next one is we're going to do a back post treble and two double crochets. So we've come up to here and we're going to do our back post treble. Two, three. Come to the top of that stitch and do our two double crochets. Going to move on to our next stitch now here, and we're going to do our two double crochets. And a back post treble. So we're going under behind the work, under, over, around, and pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. Two. So now we're going to skip two stitches and we're going to do a double crochet into the top. One and two. Okay, so we're going to miss the skip the next two stitches. You can put a marker in if you need to. Slide that in there. It's a bit easier this way um, with the back post than it is with the front post. Okay, so wrap around twice, got our two single stitches on their own so we know we're in the right space. So underneath, loop it round, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And we're going to come back and we're going to pop, take our marker out and you'll pop your two double crochets into that space where the marker was, which was right. One and two. Next one here, so yarn over and look through two. Now the treble through the back. So up, around. So now we're going to skip our two stitches and we're going to do a double crochet in each stitch. That's one, two. Do our back post treble. into that. Two into here. Then over twice and we're going back into that stitch through the back. Okay, 
Okay, so skip our next two stitches. Oh, I didn't skip two stitches last time, so I've got one, two, yep, there we are. Sorry, one, two, yep, we're in the right, the right space. No, we're not. I've made an error. I can bring that back. Oh, I'm going to do that one instead of those two. That wasn't clever. Always good to check. So we did one, two, and I didn't miss my two stitches. Twice. So then we're going to do a double crochet in the top of the line. So that's one, two, three. Okay, so then we're going to skip two chain and we're going to, uh, sorry, we're going to skip two stitches and then we're going to do a front post double crochet. So, sorry, a front post triple. and two double crochet in the top of that stitch in the next stitch we're going to do our two double crochets and our front post going back through the front like we did in the previous row before we did the back posts. One, two, three. And that's just your rhythm now. You should just be in your rhythm so it's coming up and then you're getting your nice your nice shape. Mine look a little bit different because your yarn's a little bit thicker and I'm just using a, a larger hook for for um, demonstration. So those gaps will be a little bit smaller. Um, but it's only because I'm using a big hook on a, on a finer yarn. So we're just going to miss the next two stitches now and we're going to do a double crochet in the next two stitches. We're going to do a front post double crochet. Miss two into here. Don't forget to put your um, marker in if you need to. Through. Take your marker out, back through there, and do the two double crochets. So, two double crochets into the next stitch.
come back to that stitch and we'll do two double crochets. Okay. And two double crochets. Back to our front post treble. Just two stitches. So two, so that would be there. Double crochet into there. Oh, double crochet in the last stitch, which is the third from the chain. And turn your work. And that is the pattern for this month. Um, and so you're just going to keep repeating um, four and five. Can you just explain when you get to the end of Do a single crochet around each? Oh, yeah. So, and, so, so, and to finish off, um, once you've finished your square, you'll go back. You, you won't um, cast off, but you'll turn around and you'll go around and do your uh, single crochets around the square like you've done on previous squares.